answer as to why, um, but that's just the numbers, what they are. And he said it, and if it's if he said it, it's in his mind, and you got to wonder. But I think he's playing golf better than at any level that he's played since he's been on the PGA Tour. You look back at the 2018 where he did make the playoffs there, but it's just it's continued to get better. You look back when he's won, he's had. Uh, 42 rounds since he's won. It was one of the last tournaments of the year. 39 of those were par better, 30 in the 60s. He's played some phenomenal golf uh, and, and is off to a good start in 2022. And I, I think I think the confidence was there. I think, you know, we all go through times where you have to see some results to get some confidence. He's worked with Bob Rotella. I think he's given him the tools uh, to get to that. He's finally got, he's got some good instruction. He's a very good athlete. Uh, it doesn't – we've talked about it forever. I mean, he's going to win. He's going to win. He hadn't done it. I know for him, uh, I thought – you know, he probably thought I'm going to win right away. And I, I just think he's coming into his own right now, uh, and, and there's no reason to believe he's not going to have a good day just based on what we've seen. Some great iron shots and great putting. Uh, and mentally, we talked about the save at 17. I mean, he birdies 18, which tells me he's in a good place. Uh, it'd be real easy there to maybe try to take driver, be a little bit aggressive and make a mistake, but he didn't do that, played smart. And I, I just like his golf swing. I think it's really good. I talked to his college coach. He said there was a lot of moving parts early on when he got to college. And so he's worked on his flexibility. I think that's helped. Uh, and, and just you can see the all the hard work that this, this guy and a lot of these guys put in finally paying off. You wonder if it's going to ever happen. They do it for years and years, and you don't get there. And he's, he's, he said in a lot of his pressers, I never had the ability to make a schedule. I had to just say, all right, am I going to get in here and get in there? You never feel like you get any momentum. He also talked about his putting. Now, we're seeing him, obviously, with full swings, but he made a change to his putting grip specifically. He said that he saw a lot of guys go into the claw, and he had never used it before, and uh, decided to go to the claw. Yeah, I mean, it's, kind of, kind of it's all personal preference. But, I mean, I, I think the biggest thing that I've seen is just his golf swing looks so good. Uh, he played pretty decent the American Express. Uh, and, and, yeah, guys have changed things, try things with putting. But I think his ball striking's just been so phenomenal this week. Uh, and, and, and things have really come around. You watch his golf swing here. It's great rhythm, good rotation through the ball. I think just being more flexible has allowed him to do that. Uh, and just talking, like I said, with his college coach, the things that went on. Uh, early on in college, uh, just the kind of the transformation where he's become and, and one of the top players. He did win the Barbasol Championship for his first PGA Tour victory. Take you back to that. He beat JT Poston on the sixth hole of a sudden death playoff at Keene Trace. That is near Lexington, Kentucky. Third straight top 10, sixth straight top 20 finish on tour. And an important step forward for him. The last couple of years, I was in that 26 to 50 category, struggling to get starts. I might have a start, even like, exactly like, I, like you could have a month between starts. And it's just tough to, it's tough to get momentum going. It's tough to get that confidence that you need. And so that win got me in pretty much all the tournaments. And I've been able to pick and choose and play what I want. Like I played three, had last week off, and was really able to prepare it. And for this week, I played it before. I know what to expect. I know what my game needs to play here. So it just gives you that added advantage, if you will, of knowing when you're going to play and what courses you're going to play. Now we're talking about how important it was to get a win, and uh, Jim, you've been there. You know that it's it's such a relief when you can set a schedule, when you know you've got, A, a job, yep. and B, you can go ahead and plan out your year, and, and it just takes a lot of the pressure off, doesn't it? Well, you freeze you up, and I mean, we're sitting there saying, people are going like, well, that's no big deal. Well, yeah, it is a big deal, and you don't know where you're going to play. You get that last minute call, maybe Wednesday morning. You got to try to find a flight. You got to come in there. You're not prepared because these guys prepare consistently. They have kind of a routine what they're going to do on a Monday or a Tuesday or even a Wednesday most of the time in the pro am. But they have a way of being prepared. And for any golfer, any professional uh, golfer, whether it's the men or the women, you have to, in your mind, know you put all the time in and are properly prepared. If you don't, that's when that doubt comes in. I think he's able to prepare himself better. I think today his mindset is, I've got to get it to 20 under. I think he's got to go out with that kind of mindset. Don't worry about where he is right now. Uh, don't worry about the past. Stay in the present. I mean, it's basic stuff. Uh, stick to your process. I mean, we talk about it all the time, and people go like, well, there's got to be more to it. No, you try to simplify it. We try to make this game so difficult, and, and the mind is such a strong part of it. Uh, and I think if, when you get nervous, you stay in your routine, you stay in your process, it makes it a lot easier. It's when you 